All right, so in this problem, I have 0 0.2 to the power of x is equal to 2. So for this problem, I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, first start with 0 0.2 to the power of x is equal to 2. Now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I have log 0 0.2 to the power of x is equal to log 2. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b here to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 0 0.2 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 0 0.2 is equal to log 2. Now if I divide both sides by log 0 0.2, These two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 2 over log 0 0.2. Now, if you notice here, log 0 0.2, well, that's the same thing as log of 2 over 10. And if I have something in the form log a over b, this is simply equal to log a minus log b. So in this case, a is 2 and b is 10. So I can rewrite this as x is equal to log 2 over log 2 minus log 10. Now, log 10, as we all know, is simply 1. So I have x is equal to log 2 over log 2 minus 1. Now, log 2, this is equal to 0 0.3010. So I have 0 0.3010 over 0 0.3010 minus 1. And now this is equal to 0 0.3010 over 0 0.6990. And finally, if I divide these two, I get that x is equal to, sorry, this is actually negative 0 0.6990 x is equal to negative 0 0.43. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 8 to the power of x is equal to 39. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite this as 2 to the power of x plus 2 squared to the power of x plus 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is equal to 39. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of x to the power of 2, and 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of x to the power of 3. Now, I'm going to let 2 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I have y plus y squared plus y to the power of 3 is equal to 39. Now, I'm going to subtract 39 on both sides. So these two cancel out, and now I have y to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 2 plus y minus 39 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to rewrite y squared here as negative 3y squared plus 4y squared. So I have this plus y minus 39 is equal to 0. Now, from y to the power of 3 minus 3y squared, I can factor out y squared. So I have y squared times y minus 3.
So now I'm going to add 4y squared and I'm going to rewrite y here as negative 12y plus 13y. So now from here, I have y squared times y minus 3 plus from 4y, my 4y squared minus 12y, I can factor out 4y. So I have 4y times y minus 3 plus 13 times y minus 3. This is equal to 0. So now if I factor out y minus 3, I get y minus 3 times y squared plus 4y plus 13 is equal to 0. So now this gives me, oops, sorry. So now this gives me two equations. I have y minus 3 is equal to 0, meaning y is equal to 3. And I have y squared plus 4y plus 13 equals 0. So to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b, so negative 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared. So 4 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1 times c, which is 13. And if you notice, this is actually going to be 16 minus 52 which is negative 36, and you can't take the square root of a negative number, so this is wrong, and my only solution for y is three. Now remember how we let two to the power of x equal y, meaning two to the power of x equals three. So now to solve this, I'm gonna take the log on both sides, and this is the same thing as x times log two is equal to log three, meaning x is equal to log three over log two. All right, so in this problem, I have 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to 1. So I obviously want to find the value of x for this problem. So for my solution, I first start with 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to 1. And now... If I have something in the form x to the power of 0, right? Well, any, any number to the power of 0 is simply 1. So we know we see 1 here, and 1 is the same thing as a number to the power of 0. So I'm going to rewrite 1 as 10 to the power of 0. So now I have 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to 10 to the power of 0, because 10 to the power of 0 is the same thing as 1. And the reason I did this is so that these two bases here are the same. Now, as you see, they're both 10. So now I have 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to 10 to the power of 0. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. Meaning over here, because both of our bases are the same, they both are 10, our exponents are going to be equal to each other as well. Meaning 9 minus x squared, that's going to be equal to 0. So I have 9 minus x squared is equal to 0. Now, as you see, we have a simple equation to solve. So to solve this equation, I'm going to add x squared on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and then I have x squared is equal to 9. Now, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. So I have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of 9. And the square root of x squared, that's x. The square root of 9, this can be positive or negative 3. So my two solutions for x are x equals 3 and x equals negative 3. So now I actually have another solution. So again, I have... 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to 1. And this time I'm actually going to take the log on both sides. So I have log of 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to log 1. So now log of 1, that's 0. So I have log 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to 0. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, it's the same thing as b times log a. So in this case, I have 9 minus x squared times log 10 is equal to 0. Now log 10, this is simply 0. Or sorry, this is simply 1. 
So now I have nine minus X squared times one, which is simply nine minus X squared is equal to zero. And again, I'm back to where I started. Nine minus X squared equals zero. So X is equal to three or negative three. So that is my second solution.